This tech tip will look at how to import data from OpenStreetMap, OSM, into the IES VE. This lets us quickly import additional geometry data to add surroundings and context to our VE models. We access OSM by going to File, Import, Map Data, or by clicking on the button to import map data. This will open up the OSM dialog box. First, we enter our site location. We can then use one of the shape options to select the area to import. We click on Save and Import, and we will see the OSM data being loaded into our VE model. We can then use Model Viewer to see a 3D view of what we have imported. For some locations, this will show very detailed building geometry due to active community contributions, whereas for this example, we just have an extrusion of each building's footprint. We can also use OSM to set our model's location precisely. We open AP Locate as usual, and then set the location by using the Map button to open the AP Locate map view. We search for our location, and then may need to select the correct option from the list of possible locations. We can then zoom in and right-click on our site. We select the option to move site to this location. And then we click on the button to select the nearest weather data and enter our site address or project name. When we save these details and click on OK, we can see that our location name, latitude, longitude, elevation and time zone have all been updated. If we right-click on one of the buildings that's been imported, we can see that it has been imported with the object type set as adjacent building. We could change this by selecting a different type if needed. With one or more building spaces selected, the Edit Elements Heights button becomes available. This lets us set both the base height and the build height of our buildings to account for topography and multiple stories. We can also use the Generate Roofs command to quickly add pitched roofs, but remember to change the roof's object type to adjacent building if we're just using it for shading. Within the VE, we always work square to the screen and rotate the north point because we increase accuracy by working to the grid. To do this after importing the site, we should rotate the imported OSM geometry so that our project building is aligned to the grid, and then set the north point. We use the measure angle command to measure how much we need to rotate our model by. We can see that this wall is currently angled at 60 degrees, so if we rotate the whole model a further 30 degrees, it will be at 90 degrees and square to our grid. We select everything, then use Rotate Selection Set to do this, using the angular increment to set a precise 30 degree rotation. Having rotated our model, it is important that we adjust the site orientation by the same amount. Once done, we can check that our north point is pointing in the correct direction. If we want to, we can also go to Model Viewer and View in Plan View, where we will see the site oriented with north up the screen as it was when we imported it, and we can check that this is correct. Now, let's import a detailed Revit model of our building and place it correctly within the imported surroundings. If we move our model to line up with the origin at the same point as the origin in the Revit model, our imported geometry will automatically be positioned correctly. Knowing that our alignment is correct, we can delete the imported footprint of our building to make room for our Revit model. If we don't do this, we'll have intersecting geometry that may interfere with the import. Now we're ready to import our Revit model by going to File, Import, BIM Model and selecting our desired import preferences. We can see that the detailed building is now correctly placed within our VE model geometry, and we can use Model Viewer to inspect it visually. Thank you for watching this video on how to import OSM data into the VE 
to quickly generate model geometry. For further hints and tips on the VE, please check out our other Tech Tips videos.